This is a Tsukaichi factory in Japan where assembly workers has to hand building Kobelko excavators. Here are produced of medium, large hydraulic excavators in the range of 7 to 220 tons. First is the steel fabrication. This stage involves the welding and processing of the frame, attachments and other vital elements that form the skeleton of an excavator. The steel fabrication team welds and machines the frame. The workers is pre-assembly of the lower frame. They weld the excavator body though the crawler frame to pre-assemble them. UT inspection is the ultrasonic testing of a three-dimensional structure to check for its internal damages and faults without harming the structure itself. The inspector maintains high quality by carefully checking for minute damages and defects that are visually undetectable. After welding and machining the frame, it is transported by conveyor to the painting process. The painting process, including the undercoat, finishing coat, shot blasting, and drying, is all done on an assembly line.
Here, an attachment will be painted in blue-green, the color that represents Cobelco construction machinery. The most important thing for this job is manual working proxies. Ahead of other domestic production bases, Kobelko Ogaki Factory firstly introduced environmentally friendly coating, which is low in toxic substance density and expected to reduce folk emission compared with conventional coating materials. At present, Kobelko is gradually making its other production bases switch over to environmentally friendly coating to reduce the burden on both its workers and the environment. The workers can now install the idlers for the track system. The time has come for the tracks to be mounted. Wrapped around two large idlers and nine small track rollers. Forty-nine interlock track links on each side will later keep the 30-ton excavator. Sub-assembly the assembly of piping for engines, pumps and other devices are handled at sub-assembly. Workers' approach to manufacturing is the careful execution of each step. Workers assemble the piping for all the parts such as the engine and hydraulic pump. By understanding the models and specifications, workers quickly and accurately perform the assembly and forward it to the next process. The workers add each part carefully, and also have to avoid stagnation. Workers grasp a wide variety of models and specifications and all parts are assembled effectively and exactly, allowing a smooth connection to the next process. Main body assembly handles everything from the mounting of each device to assembling the lower, upper, and attachments of the main body. The connections of hydraulic pumping and electrical wiring are also handled here. Focusing on post processes also has an effect on product quality. After all of the devices are assembled, the body of the lower and upper, and attachments must be assembled. In the upper assembly line, workers perform a process that supplies the core of the excavator. Connecting the hydraulic piping and connection the electrical wiring are two main tasks for workers. Small errors in this stage will have a large effect on the team in the following process, so everyone must strive to preserve product quality as the machine moves down the line. Lower upper structure docking. Here, the lower and upper frames are docked. This is the docking process for the lower frame and upper frame of the excavator. This process docks the upper and lower frames of the excavator. The swing bearing is tightened using a specialized device. This process especially calls for close cooperation between workers as it involves the handling of heavy loads. The workers tighten the upper and lower frames together. 
This is a critical task, so workers need to perform it earnestly and correctly to ensure product quality and customer satisfaction. Main Assembly The workers must be constantly thinking about safety. Mounting the counterweight and cab gives the hydraulic excavator its final form. The main assembly consists of mounting the counterweight and cab to give the excavator its final form. The worker have to handle heavy parts, so this job needs to be done with concern for safety. Here, counterweights and attachments are mounted. At this point, you will see the familiar shape of a Kobelco excavator at last. The worker use a modern nut runner, which makes it easy for anyone to apply the torque required for tightening. As it manages torque by keeping records of tightening, it also benefits quality management. It helps to ensure consistent product quality.
Rigging and Testing Final inspections are performed during the testing process to test hydraulic, functional issues, ETS. The final performance inspection is conducted at this point to ensure that there are no problems with the assembled machine. Specifically, a variety of tests are conducted including the examination of engine and hydraulic machinery outputs. Decals are then affixed, completing the manufacturing process. If defects are overlooked, it will cause many problems in the next process, so the check sheet is looked over twice to prevent issues from being missed. The workers are very careful in inspection so that Cobelco excavators can function without defects. The final. Also, the production of mini excavators was established at the Ogaki, Japan, planned in the Chengdu, China, plant manufacturers from small size to large size excavators.